Hello all, this particular diagram is very very important as far as C and C++ understanding is concerned. Now going further, you should be able to visualize how it is happening inside the memory when you write a C or C++ code. So when we write C or C++ program, there are different types of variable and dynamic memory allocation is done and using some pointers we move from one block to other block especially in data structures so at that time you should be able to visualize how it is happening inside the memory and how the pointers are moving so for that understanding you should be knowing this diagram so this is a diagram of executable file where the memory is divided into four logical parts the four logical parts are stack, heap, data section and code segment. So out of these four parts, last thing code segment, it is used to store your source code. The source code that we write is saved into the code segment. So it is not responsible for storage of any data. So whenever you declare variables or dynamic memory allocation, so that thing is done either on these three things. So you need to remember each one of these three. First one is stack. Now stack will store the local variables. You know the concept of local variables. Local variables means variables which are declared in some function. So inside int main if I say a, b, c, int a, int b, int c, then all three are local variables. So local variables are stored onto the stack. Then global variables are stored onto the data section. Now these are the storage classes for local variables automatic storage class is there. So local variables are also called as auto variables and for global variables external storage class is there. So global variables are also called as external variables. So locals are stored onto the stack and globals are stored onto the data section. Apart from that static variables are there, static variables are also stored onto the data section and this particular part which is heap is reserved for the dynamic memory allocation. So we will see the dynamic memory allocation in further topics where there are some functions like malloc, calloc, realloc. So that thing happens onto the heap. So you will remember these three parts stack, heap, data section as far as memory allocation is concerned. Now if you see the diagram carefully here I have shown the dotted boundary between stack and heap and between the other sections I have shown the concrete boundary. So why it is dotted boundary because total area of stack and heap is constant. So it is, these are the logical parts of memory it's not like this is made up of some material and this is made up of some other material this is these are not physical parts these are logical parts of memory so total area for stack and heap is constant now when you or you can say whole thing is heap and when you go on declaring local variables stack frame will be created and it will penetrate inside the heap so as I go on declaring more and more local variables, this boundary will move down. So it depends how many variables you have. So this was about the diagram, you can have a look on it.